Hi everyone, it's so good to see you. Michelangelo had a great quote. It is, the greater danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. Ouch. Ouch. Look, I gotta admit there have been times I've set my mark way too low. But guess what? I'm learning to set it high. I had a goal to make videos last week. I wanted to make so many videos in a week. I didn't make that goal. <laughs> but I couldn't get mad at myself either. And the reason I couldn't get mad at myself is because I was getting over being ill and I was really trying to push myself because I had gotten ill. I wasn't expecting to make me in a position where I couldn't do anything. I couldn't make the videos. I couldn't do much of anything outside of just rest. So I was like, let's go for it. Let's go for it. And so I aimed really high and I fell really short. But I didn't get mad at myself because I knew that it was better that I shot for that rather than just do one video. And there's times where one video seems like a lot. But I know I can do better than one. And I, I look for the opportunity and I look for the things to speak on so that I can help you grow and it just say, you know what, I can do it. She can do it. I can do it. She can do it. I can do it. She may not be doing what I'm doing, but I can still, I mean, she's telling me things. I get it. I get it. I can do that. I can do that. I, I can see it happen. Because a lot of times we just go, well, this is good enough. It's never good enough. Well, all right, we'll go over here. Well, it's better, but it's still not good enough. That's a really high goal to reach for. Are they crazy? I can't reach that goal. Not with that attitude, you won't. Now, I can also tell you, I am not a track and field person. Okay? I'm not. Running is not my forte. As a matter of fact, running in high school was very, very hard. And the teachers had pity on me because I would run till I couldn't run, then I'd walk. Then I would get, I, I did that, I'm like, guys, get back to running, come on, come on, let's run some more. And I would run, and I, I gotta walk. I, I physically can't run any further. And then I would start to get some energy build up again, and I'd run a little bit more. And, and they say, you know what, Sarah, you actually do try to run until you can't run anymore, which is awesome. We appreciate that. I realize you have to stop going around the track several times, but sometimes people don't even try. They just go, I'm not going to break out into a sweat. I'm not going to do that. But at least you try. They go, well, I, I do try. I really do. I'm sorry. I, I'm just not a track and field person. And they go, it's okay. But you try, and that's the main thing. And a lot of times we don't even try. We just go, it's too hard. That's impossible. I can't do that. Well, then you're right. You can't. But you could excel in other areas. And you can excel in other areas. You can change and do things that seem impossible. Nothing is impossible for us. Unless we say it's impossible. There are some things we can't do. Okay, there are some things that are impossible. For example, most of us do not have the ability to build a rocket to fly to the moon. We could learn to build a rocket, but we don't have the capability, and we don't usually have the spare parts laying around, just to throw that out there. We just don't. So that's more of an impossibility, okay? It doesn't mean that we couldn't. We could if we really put our minds to it. But most of us aren't going to go that length. We're just not. Some of us are never going to be excellent cooks. Why? Because peanut butter and jelly seem to do the job. <laughs> I know, you're like, peanut butter and jelly. Come on, Sarah, think higher, think higher. What, you think I'm not thinking higher? Of course I think higher. Macaroni and cheese for everyone. You know, you're like, okay, you're just being silly. 
But the fact of the matter is, I'm not a great cook. I'm not. But you know what? I don't need to be a great cook. There are other people in my life who they have a passion for it, and they create and make these amazing dishes that I get to enjoy. But I don't have to work at that. But I do other things that I excel at, other things that make a difference, and they get to appreciate it. You see, we need each other. We're not all going to do the same thing. So don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to take that step and to go out and do it. Because i got to tell you, if we're aiming too low, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, we will find our way to the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But if we shoot for the stars, we just might get to the moon. And isn't that something that is far greater than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I think so. I think so. I would love to be able to set my sights on the moon. But there are things that have prohibited me from doing such. But I can still dream about it. And I can, and I can cheer somebody else on who's going to do it. And I can be in their corner helping them get to that goal. So I'm going to the moon too, just a little differently, vicariously, actually. But the point is, I need to shoot for something greater than what I can do. And so should you. And when we do, we'll find out what we're made of. What are you made of? I appreciate you joining us today. We'll see you soon.